Bushle, I would love to hear about your truth. Mm -hmm. And um, as a lady that is studying African studies, what are some of the superstitions that you embrace? Mm -hmm. And as somebody that is like today, 2014, what are the, some of the things that are your rituals and how do you express them? Okay, um, I wouldn't necessarily call them superstitions, but I'd say these are my beliefs. Yeah. Um, I believe very much in my ancestors and I still practice my traditions, meaning I communicate with them via um, using intercipes or impepo. Impepo. And you combine it with maize meal and maize candles meal. and he sniff. Uh, and that's where you, you start calling out your forefathers, Itagas and Osako, uh, and just basically asking them to guide you, thanking them for the success that you have, and basically uh, whenever you are in need, you know, just embracing them and recognizing their existence and just basically asking them to lead the way for you. But can you say, like, it could be something small as going on a trip, going somewhere, just wanting to be protected and be guided and feel safe before you leave. You talk to them and you tell them when you get a job. You know, you talk to them and say, "Thank you, I'm working now." Um, and once you get a really good job, you know, you can buy a sheep, slaughter a sheep yeah. or something. You know, yeah. just to say, "I, I see you. I yeah. see that you're seeing me." Yeah. Um, and I think in 2014, it is a little bit difficult sometimes because we're so exposed to all these ideas, yeah. and we go to varsity and we're exposed to science and we're exposed to logic in a way and yeah. you there is an element of questioning yourself sometimes you look mm. at yourself and you look at your traditions and you think mm. you know but for me I think it's hope and faith more than anything else mm. so that I find that it grounds me and it keeps me sane and I think for a lot of people even if it's religion or whatever I think if it's nothing else it's a form of trying to keep yourself sane and a scapegoat somehow, you know, it's, it's a place where you can find comfort when there is no logical reason to explain, you know, the things or the phenomena that happens in your life. Mm. So, yeah, those are my traditions, those are my beliefs, that's my truth that I live every day of my life.